Idaho man here and Caitlin. So, as you can see, there's a Tacoma behind me. I don't know if you guys had really seen her other Tacoma, but this isn't her other Tacoma. What's this Tacoma, Caitlin? Uh, 2017 TRD Sport. Nice. Pretty nice. excited for it. Nice. So, her other Tacoma was a 13. Almost identical to this, other than it was older and it was an SR5 kind of base model. So this one's got the nicer interior, the sport hood. Already came with bumpers. Swapped over her steps, swapped over her wheels and tires. Has Fab Four's bumpers. Came with the canopy, roof rack, all kinds of stuff. Really nice pickup, really nicely loaded, really great shape. So she's pretty excited. But what's the purpose of today's video? I hate the bumper. Hopefully the guy who's buying it is not watching this. I'm just so sorry. I think it's not the best. <laughs> I'm kind of on her side. I don't really like the bumper. It's too... It's too much for me. I don't off-road, so... It's too much. Too much. So, uh, so, what do we got, Caitlin? We got a body armor. What's, is it Pro Series? It is the Pro Series, Pro series? which we have. I, so, I drove my Tacoma to work yesterday, which was the day the bumper came in. And at lunch, I was like, hmm, maybe I should grab a different pickup. You know, bumper's going to be big. I only got like three foot of bed in my Tacoma. So, I almost grabbed Grandpa. I'm like, nah, we'll use the race truck. It's got the longest bed. Well, Turns out it's a good thing I did because this bumper takes up the entire bed. So, I don't know what she wants to do. Do you want to work on taking yours off first? Or should we unwrap this one to see if we can find instructions to figure out what we need to do? I should probably take that one off first. We're going to work on taking hers off real quick. See what this involves. Right yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll start taking her bumper off. Okay, everybody. Well, we got. Caitlin, what are you doing right now? I am basically holding it so it doesn't fall because it is like teetering on the jack. <laughs> it's not the sketchiest thing I've done. Sadly, got, it's so true. We got the bumper unbolted. We kind of cheated, I think. We were able to just unbolt this bracket, which is just three bolts on each side. Then there was one down there. And we had some wiring we had to undo. And then unbolted the winch. It's kind of just hanging there because I didn't want to undo all the winch wiring. Caitlin's still holding it while it's balanced on the floor jack. Kind of. And... It's almost off. I think we're ready to take it off, so we will work on sliding that off. See what happens. I think we should just keep it like this. <laughs> Weight reduction. I mean, we could start some new trends. It looks pretty good. Something like that. Who huh? needs a bumper anyway? Oh yeah, that's, that's more than one person. That's yeah, that's pretty good. heavy. Sweet. All right. Well, we We're gonna put the new bumper on. I'm pretty excited. I got a new grill for it too, thanks to Patrick. Thanks to Rogers Toyota. <laughs> Thank you, Rogers, for sponsoring this build. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. See what it's gonna look like when it's done. Let's do this. It's like Christmas. This is the biggest gift I've ever got. Except I paid for it. So. Yeah. Happy me. Well, Rogers paid for it. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Just hop up in there, take the lid off. Oh, we're just gonna unbox it. Yeah. In the race truck 
Ничья. She said. Oh. What do we got in here? Foam? We don't need Did that. I get any free stickers? That's what we're really concerned about. Yeah, body armor. Is for there my, stickers? For my water bottle. Stickers would be on, yeah. Let's find out what's in package number four. Wouldn't that be number two? I don't know. It has a four on it. That's oh. Nice. Okay, well, no, I just look silly. Yeah. Okay, but is there stickers? Screw all the hardware. Oh. What the heck, body armor? Gonna have to have a chat. Not cool. All right, let's do this. Well. I'm gonna turn the camera off. We'll get this thing wrestled out real quick, get it unwrapped and go from there. Try not to uh, cut my finger off. You want me to do it like I did opening the box? Just kick it? No, I'm good. Oh. I was kind of worried at first that it didn't come pre-powder coated, but I'm glad it did. Yeah, that would have been interesting. I'm literally going to cut my finger off. Well, it helps that the knife's really dull. Yeah, it does. <gasps> there she is! Body armor. Call that good for tonight? I mean like Oh, I oh, do. oh. I mean, like I like it. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. It's upside down. Of course it is. That bottom side does. Okay. Well, we don't have any light bars yet. That is one thing I I said I would never have too. Yep, Looks and neat. and here we got a bumper that has a spot for a 30 inch light bar and a spot for cubes. I'm convinced you picked out this bumper for that exact reason. Just no, I was con I spots for light bars so maybe we can sneak it in. No, see, so it's really cheap. The light bar thing was a bonus. Yeah. Okay, well. You didn't win on the roof rack though. The roof rack has gotta go. Sorry, Cubby. <sighs> She's winning this one. I mean, it's her pickup, and so far it sounds like the roof rack's leaving, so. Roof rack's leaving. Okay, well, we'll set the camera back down and get back to that time-lapse thing. So, we got the power steering cooler relocated got it all prepped and ready for the new bumper so we are gonna try to he-man this thing over there and get it on we got the bumper on got the winch all good to go what else Gotta cut the filler here for the free bumper I got from work that we have sitting back behind my Tacoma. Shout out to Rogers for the sponsorship. We got, <laughs> gotta put new flares on there. Gotta get new front flares, which we some gappage. <laughs> already have because we need to cut that much less flare. Put the new grill on. I don't think y'all have seen the new grill. It's in the basement. Oh, that's right. Isn't it? Yep, it is. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> so we'll have to go grab the flare so she can show or the grill so she can show you guys that. And uh, keep buttoning it up from here. So I 
I personally feel like everyone who has a third gen has a pro grill and Raptor lights. I had a pro grill on my last pickup and this one I want to do something completely different. So this is the grill we're going with for now. I might could be talked into a billet grill. We'll see. I know he would be happy about that. <laughs> and here are the flares that we're going to be trimming to put back on. I cannot wait to see it all come together. It's gonna be good. So we got the bumper on, looks super good, but now we have to fill in this gap and we need to replace the flares so free bumper free bumper it was in the body shop they're gonna throw it away definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit but we're really it's only gonna use from here up. up this is cracked and then we got another crack over here but it was free it was free. It didn't have anything at all because of the fab doors. It went all the way up to the headlights. So. Yep. So we're going to run this one until we can either find um, someone to swap with or get a used one for a decent price. Or maybe we'll never notice and it'll end up being just fine. <laughs> Who knows? He's like, oh, we can just zip tie this part and zip tie that part. It'll be fine. I have the wrong Swappy mentality way. for this pickup. For yeah, mine to come, check yeah. the hat, the sloppy hat. Shout out to sloppy. <laughs> this pickup, we have some fancy mechanics on. We do. I'm not used to fancy mechanics. I drove it on gravel yesterday and it already had a bath because, you know. Fancy mechanics. Fancy. It was expensive, so I gotta take care of it. So yeah, we are going to uh, see what the directions say as far as like where to cut it. And... Oh boy, I'm gonna let him do this part because uh -uh, he's the one pickup. who has the degree in <laughs> whatever body, is it body mechanics? Or what collision do you, repair. collision repair, that's what it is. Body mechanics, that's probably not even a thing. It is now. <laughs> I just made it a thing. <laughs> so, yeah, Getting let's closer. see what we can break. Okay, so we got the bumper all taped off. Um, we put the tape a little lower than the actual cut line, just in case. Well, I put it right at my cut line. I think I'm gonna cut lower than it though, just to be safe. Yeah, but. because the directions just don't make any sense. Um, so, look, yeah, they're, they're kind of confusing. <laughs> they're they're showing it on the vehicle. As and ours can, is clearly not on the vehicle, mine is so on my knees. we can just take this and just. <laughs> So, got yeah. it all taped and we're gonna cut it and then we'll measure it on the pickup, see what we need to adjust and go from there. Hope for the best. I figured this was way better than doing this with power tools. Oh boy. Yeah, we don't, I have a Sawzall, but I don't have Sawzall blades, so. We're going old school with it. We're doing a hand Sawzall. Oh gosh. How hot did you say it was out here? 103. Perfect. And the peak heat has already passed, so it was like 105, 110 today. Yay. It was warm today, at least we got some shade. I need a shot. Yeah. Okay, so I got my new grill put together. There's the old one. Uh, the stock bumper is cut. He did a really good job. We got this piece put in. It looks really nice. We got the trim put on it. And we're currently zip tying it in because we forgot the special clips. If you own a Toyota, you'll know exactly what special clips I'm referring to. The little plastic ones that always get broke. Like this, right? Yep. So you got some, I always break you got them. some in that cup. Always break them. These guys here, 
every time every single time so we'll get those ordered but for the time being we're just gonna zip tie it um, because we can't be super fancy with everything right nope we are getting touch every once in a while. <laughs> we are getting so close we have been out here for let's see three hours four hours which isn't bad no not bad for a huge project in a driveway with no lift so I'm just excited to see it completely all together. We'll go and get this wash because it's got some bugs on it, but I'm not too worried. It matches perfectly. So next we're going to put the new flares on and then I think after that, put the grill on and then be donezo. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, because it has been a hot day today. We literally picked the hottest day of the year so far. It has not been this hot all year and today the day we decided to do it. The guy who's buying my old bumper is coming Monday, so we kinda had to get it done. He has to work tomorrow, so. Today was our only day, 105 degrees. It's been great. Been something. I'm ready for blizzards. <laughs> yes. All right, we will keep working on this, and I think we'll do fares, flare, wow, flares or girl necks, what do you think? I'll probably do the grill while you do the flares. Yeah, you could throw the grill in. I could cut the flares up. Perfect. We bought, or I guess we didn't buy, but at work I had some extra flares from doing whatever. Oh, it was the Roger sponsorship, exactly. remember? <laughs> the Roger sponsorship, but we had to get more flares because we need, we need this much more flare. Yep, so. that much. It's like maybe two inches which is which is cool i mean we could kind of set a trend and like just mob it but we're, that's uh, not gonna if happen it wasn't for this hole it wouldn't bother me but because of that me. hole it, yeah. i'm so particular about my vehicles this poor guy puts up with so much i he got me these pro comp wheels for my second gen and it took us probably a year to find the perfect wheels because i'm so picky it's bad it's so bad but I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but I got the wheels and tires off my second gen. We traded those over and I kept my my steps. Not crazy about them, but my grandma appreciates it and so do my nephew and niece. So, But uh, the roof rack's not staying for long. That'll probably be the next thing I take off. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to do. Get some light bars. Get a light bar, some maybe a four-inch lift, inches. something. I wish if anyone wants to donate to a good cause, aka four thousand dollars for long travel, I'm accepting donations. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this finished up, and hopefully, we'll get this done before sunset, so we can drive it out with the drone and get some cool footage. All right, we're basically done. I messed up. Looks like a whole new pickup. Uh, we were gonna put the flares on, but we don't have the right clips. And- There's a bunch of blue and orange clips that go under the flares. And usually you break at least half of those when you take the flares off and I completely spaced grabbing them. So we're gonna hold off. We're gonna rock the trend for a couple days, but overall, it looks so much better. I do not miss the old bumper. For all of you who are wondering, this is the Body Armor Pro Series. Got a worn wrench winch in there. Oh my gosh, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> uh, put the we, grill on. We have a 20, I think it's 2018 and newer sport grill in there. So it actually looks like it'll have a uh, safety sense and it'll have dynamic cruise and everything but it doesn't it's just it's an optical a phony illusion. it's a faker it's just a big fat phony but yes a lot of people have messaged me asking me like why did you trade your 13 for a 17 i've heard that there's a lot less power the engine's not as good the only difference that i see is when you first step on the gas it doesn't have as much pickup but like once it gets to higher speeds it's got more giddy up, I think, than the Tacoma, the, the, my second gen. But I'll show you guys what the inside looks like just because it's new and I'm so excited for it. Inside of it is so freaking nice. 
It's got dual climate control, wireless charging pad, uh, the touch screen, which my second gen did not have. It's got the GPS and everything in it. Uh, it's got a sunroof, which was something I wanted really, really bad. Uh, instead of the backup sensor being up here, it's on the screen now. Uh, yeah, overall, just a super, super nice pickup. It's literally everything my old one was, except this one's just 2017, and it has 60,000 less miles on it. But uh, came with the canopy. It had a carpet liner in it, but I have animals, so we ripped the carpet liner out, put the bed mat in, and I'll show you guys the bumper really quick. Uh, what's the brand of bumper again? This is a Fab Fours. I think this is the Elite series. Yeah. It so was the matching to the the bumper. The matching to the steps and the oh, front bumper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she traded <laughs> swap steps before she even took the pickup and then as you see we took the front bumper off. So now it's an absolute mutt, which is totally fine. I just love that it's like a low profile. I'm not a huge fan of big and bulky and so it's nice that it's a lower profile. The only issue that I'm seeing so far is when you open the tailgate, if you put any amount of weight on it, it does hit right there. So you just have to be really careful about that. And we actually talked about lowering the bumper just to prevent that from happening. Um, when my dogs jump in the back, it pushes it low enough that it has, it gets just a little tiny scratch. So I'm glad that I caught that before it got really bad. So we're gonna get that fixed. Yeah, it looks like there's room. We should be able to unbolt everything. Maybe get some pry bars on there. Bring it down as much as we can and then retighten it back up. So we'll try that on Sunday when we do the flares. But high five, we did it. And we didn't get mad at each other once. We're a good team. We work you well did, together. You did most of the work. <laughs> I kind of just pointed you in the direction you needed to go. I mean, you so. don't learn unless you do the work, so. Yep. I can change oil too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, I'm really, really happy with it. I like it a lot more now that the bumper has changed, drives super smooth, way less road noise. Um, I have the three inch lift and 33 inch tires. I do have some wheel spacers on it just to give it that nice aggressive stance, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, it's been a couple days. He got, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, he got clips from work. Uh, so today we are working on taking the flares off to cut and fill that gap there. Uh, the grill is off again because we had to fix just a couple little minor things. Somebody was complaining of some rattling. There was some weird rattling going on and we had no idea what was causing it. So we had to take the the bumper piece off and uh, do some uh, quality uh, zip tying. <laughs> oh, and he shaved. He's got baby face now. <laughs> but yeah, so flare was really easy to take off. There's like seven bolts and we're going to cut the new ones to fit. Then we'll be all good to go. Trying to decide what mod I want to do next after this project's done. Well, getting closer. We got one flare done. A little trimmed. Got the edge guard on there. So you can, can't really see the cuts. Caitlin's bolting it back on. Well, she's already messing up the paint, so that's whatever. Um, we only broke one blue clip on this side, two on the other side, so good thing I got some. But yeah, we're almost done. Kind of got it clearance down there where the tires were rubbing because somebody wanted wheel spacers for, for that stance life. So, uh, Do you blame me? No, not at all. But we will work on the second flare and check in with you in a little bit. Got it. Well, we we got it done. There it is. 
all ready to go. So far she's liking it. Had to do some driving with it. It was making some noises, some weird popping noises, which we figured out. I don't know if you can really see, but in there, there's a uh, piece that mounts right here for the bumper to actually snap into. Well, part of it hung down about here. So every time the body would move, turning, bumps, or whatever, this and that would make some funny noises. We had to trim that down and uh, get it all taken taken care of, get it all good to go. But nope, now it's all done. Don't know what she's gonna do next. She wants to take off the roof rack, but I'm trying to convince her to leave it on there, but I don't think that's gonna work, so. As of right now though, I think we're done. On to the next project, which I think is going to involve that poor thing. But I think that's it for this one. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, we'll see, uh, see you in the next video. Idaho man out.